What's up guys? This is Hylian Mum and today in Grounded I'm going to show you how to find the Stump Outpost Lab so you can get the Stump Burgle Chip as well as the Orchid Mantis Kebab Recipe. Some things you have to have for this is the Assistant Manager Key Card. You need to have completed the Black Ant Hill Lab and defeated the Assistant Manager in order to unlock the Stump Outpost. You will also need a tuft in order to access safely the Stump Lab itself. The way we unlock the Stump Outpost is through Pond Outpost Alpha, which is located directly below me in the pond here, where the center of the oak roots basically meets the pond here. This lab is submerged, so uh, you do probably need a gill tube in order to explore it comfortably. We're going to unlock the Stump Lab through this outpost first here in the pond, and then I'm going to guide you on the safest path I know, through the upper grasslands to the stump here. We are going to be using the upper yard ascent located right here on the map. If you have not accessed the upper yard already, you will need a brat burst and the ability to build some stairs here. So basically when we're facing the oak tree, we've got these fallen leaves right in front of us where we're at on our lily pad and we're just going to throw on our bubble helmet and dive down. And you should see poking out of the rock wall here as you go deeper. The outpost here you'll see some red light and there's a door beside it there's lots of goodies to get in here so we're going to basically go through to the door that we unlock with the assistant manager key card right here and then inside this room we have a monitor here and you can see when we push the button it's going to unlock the door on the monitor there now we can see out that's from inside the stump lab and now we have access to it so we're going to go ahead and swim back out so our first objective is to get up to the upper grasslands. We are just going to basically swim through the pond at the surface, which is easiest. We're going to get out here and we're going to basically go to the wall and follow the wall along to the upper yard ascent. So here as I get out of the pond on the far left side, I'm going to turn to the right and I'm going to go to Frankenline here. I'm going to avoid the bombardiers that live in this area by sticking close to the wall there. As you go, you'll see this large stone ahead. Just be careful. There is a wolf spider den beneath, so keep an ear out. We're going to use this stick here to get on top of the large rock here. And then from here, we're going to jump over to the wall and we're going to get to the hedge ascent right there. Or sorry, the uh, upper yard ascent. Right here, there we go. So this is the upper yard ascent. You basically just jump on the roots and go up and there would be a cracked rock here if you have not been here before, which is when you will need your brat burst in order to uh, blow it up. But we're going to continue and go up the leaf here. And now we're here. Now the easiest way I find in order to get up to the uh, secondary, like the most upper grasslands, is to just go straight back to this wall where there is an overturned leaf and a fallen rock and you can very easily build two sets of grass stairs and access the uh, upper area there. So right here, you just slip underneath and there we go. So this is a super easy access, honestly, that we usually set up courtesy of my buddy Evan Tech showed me that and now we're on top at the upper grasslands and my next objective is to go along the rock wall all the way here to where the pond skimmer net meets the rocks so that's where I'm going to set my next marker and I'm going to run along here so here we've reached our marker and now we are going to go to the corner of the shed deck right here I'm going to set my marker here first, and then we're basically just going to follow up alongside the deck. We're going to take a roundabout way to get to this uh, stump over here, because this area is filled with black ox beetles, ladybirds, etc. And we just want to avoid all of them if possible. So from here, our marker is there at the corner of the shed. It is very difficult to avoid ladybird larvae and the red ants entirely, the fire ants. I usually just keep running until their aggro is out of range. So just be wary of them, they are everywhere. So here we're at the corner of the deck. And if we keep going forward, we're basically going to put our next marker up here, where the cinder blocks and the deck is here. 
as you go, you'll see the baseball. We're just going to go behind the baseball and behind the battery here. Okay, so when you get over here and you see the big cinder blocks over there, we're going to cross over and basically walk in front of the cinder blocks. So we're going to be making our way along through here. So we'll set our next marker right about here, which is in front of these trash bags. So as we go, we're going to go up here to get on top of this dirt and then go in front of the uh, cinder block here. We want to avoid the back of the cinder blocks because there is a wasp nest back there, so we don't want to go there. So here's another battery here. We're going to go in front of it. And then just back towards the brawny bin here and keep close. And this should take us to the uh, sour wormhole container here. Right there. So this is where we want to be. We're going to be going around the trash bags now. So we're just going to make our way around. But we're going to stick close to the trash bags, basically. So you should pass a couple of pine cones here. And then you should see this bucket. We're going to jump over this pine cone. And basically go between the trash bags and the bucket here. So now when we're here, we want to basically follow along here, which is the ladder. There is one black ox beetle and a ladybird that basically patrol down under here. So we're going to try to go and walk along the front of the ladder here. So we're going to go over this way. See, we've got a ladybird there, so we just want to keep an eye out for them. But this is our ladder. We're going to go this way to the front of the ladder. And start to follow it along. It'll take us behind this uh, overturned bucket here. And then you'll see the stump ahead of you. You'll kind of come to this uh, little cliff here. So this is where we want to be. So this is where you want to end up uh, when you're approaching the stump. The stump is a dangerous place because it does have uh, tiger mosquitoes present. There is a wasp nest at the back end of it. And there are two wolf spiders that live inside. So it's a bit of a threatening area. My plan is to basically head right towards where that pine cone is and just swim immediately into the water. So this is where we're headed. Give you a good view of the side we're coming in from here we've got this pine cone there's our tiger mosquitoes we're just going to dive immediately and get underneath here so this is right here this is where you should be going through to get into the stump now as soon as you come out on this side you want to just stay in the water and get a good look around uh, checking for wolf spiders first because there is one right there sleeping and there is another one in here as well that has a nest but this is the stump here so as you come in you should see the stump lab outpost right there it's actually been tipped over fallen on its side so here at the stump lab the way we are going to access the door which is basically on the top there is we're going to walk up this uh, dirt mound beside it and then there will be this slightly raised trunk here area we're going to go up and this gives you enough purchase to basically jump up to the top here. Now, you want to be careful because the thing is, a lot of times when you jump, the door is an auto open. You will just fall straight through. So now we're here at the Stump Lab outpost. And the, what you have here is a straight drop down into the lab. And so what you need here is your tuft. And I do suggest that you do a save before you enter the lab because it is a one-way path. You will have to make it out through the parkour path in order to get out. You can't come back up this way. So we're going to jump in with our tuft here. So we avoid the fall damage and we're just going to glide all the way down. This is a lot easier than that. And that will bring you to here. Sideways, so as you can see, the whole thing is sideways. We're going to go forward. And we're going to see the door A here. It's locked currently, so we need to go forward more past it. Jump up, jump up, jump up, 
and here you'll have a window on the other side. You can see computer A ahead. That is where we need to get to in order to mash those keys and unlock door A. A very key note here right by the window is the Mantis research note. So you wanna make sure you grab this. That way you have the Orchid Mantis Kebab recipe and can summon the Mantis boss. So right here, grab that. And now we're gonna go and parkour our way up in order to go through the hall and access this room here. So starting from the window location here, we're gonna go jump onto these little computers. And then if you look up ahead, we've got raw science up on this big uh, root here. So we're gonna jump up here. And that will see this cable ahead. Now, just a keynote here on this route, if you look back, this uh, section here, there is a loot box and some stuff you can get here. So it's worth to take a look over there. But the path we want to take is this cable and this column right here. So we're going to go jump onto this cable, jump onto the column, walk up. Now we're at the top of this. If we turn back now, we can see this little root here with this dirt. Jump and push against the wall and you'll be standing on here. So from this little area here, we can now get up to this route and up to the very top hallway. So now you just walk along the hallway, you get a milk molar here, go to the right and then to the left again. And this is the other room we were looking into with the A computer. So as you can see, we've got the raw science below us. We're just gonna drop down onto it. We're gonna walk along this dirt to the computer. You may fall in, that's okay, because we've got this route here from the bottom that leads you to the A computer. So from the base, you would go onto this route and make sure you can mash keys. Level A granted, the door is now unlocked. So from here, we need to get back up. So this is the room you have to parkour back up from. From the A computer that we just mashed, we're gonna jump onto this computer there. Now from here, you don't want to jump on this side because uh, this will actually knock you over. So it'll push you this way. So you just want to jump from this end of the computer to the next one here. There we go. From here, we're going to jump onto this, this dirt pile and computer here that we came up from. So just push towards the wall and go forward. Then we've got this route in the corner here. Follow this route up. And if you turn around, we've got the entrance where we came from here. We just gotta do a nice big jump to get over here and we can backtrack along the hallway. And there we go. So now as we go down, we're just gonna do a little uh, parkour or tufting. Try to make sure you don't drop straight down through the door. But now we can get into this lower area here and you'll see a loot box and right away, here is the stump burgle chip. And there we go. So now you've gotten the burgle chip and the mantis kebab recipes. That is the best thing down here to grab from this room. You will actually above the uh, place where you find the burgle chip, there is a hole in the wall. So this is what you need to look for for your exit. Just go along the dirt on the side to jump up into it. And this leads you to this cave tunnel here where it's got one exit. You follow it out. And you basically just have to jump up along the dirt to get out. And this will take you out along where the stump is. Keep going up. And you just kind of keep navigating your way through the rocks here. And then up along the wood roots here so you can see the dirt. Jump up. And you just kind of basically spiral around until you get yourself back up to the top. Now be careful because it does come out right by a wolf spider den and you have the ticks and everything to deal with again. So from here, the stump lab is actually just to your left around the corner. This is where we went in and right over there is where we came out. Hope this can help anybody who was looking on how to get into the stump lab, how to get the burgle chip or the mantis kebab recipe. As always, guys, be kind, stay legendary, and may the Triforce always be with you. Eileen Mum out.